Hello, my name is Richard Hastings, and I'm a member of Tarmac's national technical team. In this session, we'll be looking at how rubber modified asphalt can provide a more sustainable asphalt option, and we'll be joined by members of Coventry City Council's highways team who will discuss their sustainable approach to highways maintenance. This is an image of Kuwait's tyre graveyard, an extreme example to be sure. Uh, and that guy at the front, I hope he found what he was looking for. Let's hope it wasn't his car keys. This is an image of those same graveyards being viewed from space just to show how big their problem is. Clearly, the UK does not have a problem to the extent of Kuwait's. However, the UK does generate 40 million end of life tyres per year. Back in 2006, an EU directive was introduced that prevented tyres, waste tyres going to landfill. The UK has an established tyre recycling operation. End of life tyres are processed, the steel is removed and the rubber is used for sports pitches, uh, safety areas and organisations such as ourselves use it as an alternative fuel for cement kilns. However, the UK still exports 150,000 tonnes of baled rubber uh, to North America or the Indian and sorry, the Indian subcontinent per annum. That accounts to one in four UK tyres. Therefore, we need to seek additional ways in which we use recycled rubber. Tarmac began exploring the use of waste tyres in Asheville back in 2011. Further trials were carried out in 2013 where the mix was optimised and a location was found on the highway where the asphalt could be monitored over a period of time. This has been done and the asphalt is continuing to show good performance and expected to continue to do so for years to come. Tarmac also engaged with a tyre recycling company to ensure that there was consistency with the rubber additions uh, that they were provided by way of granulated rubber. Uh, we also had to engineer a uh, process that would uh, enable the granulated rubber to be introduced into the asphalt mixing at the point of uh, manufacture. Further development work was also undertaken so that we have a good understanding of the benefits of rubber modified asphalt. This was supported by knowledge and expertise gained in North America. Tarmac's owners, CRH, are a leading asphalt supplier and have provided rubber modified asphalt for many years. Unlike the UK, the American market is serviced by a pre-blended rubber modified binder. This is not the case in the UK. So we needed to optimize an engineering process that would enable this rubber additive to be fed directly into the asphalt plant during mixing. When the ground rubber is introduced, it absorbs bitumen and swells. This action uh, is similar to what a pre-blended uh, bitumen would, would, would act like. Tarmac are expecting rubber-modified asphalt to offer improved durability compared to a standard fiber SMA. Also a high degree of flexibility and resistance to cracking than a standard SMA. The use of recycled materials in asphalt provides a more sustainable product. The manufacture of rubber modified asphalt is combined with our wall mix technology. This enables the manufacturing to be 30 degrees less than would have been uh, the case for hot asphalt. That results in less fumes, less steam. Combining rubber modified and our ultilow technologies, which is covered in another session, it delivers around 8% carbon saving compared to a standard SMA. Knowledge gained in North America has demonstrated that the asphalt has proved improved durability. Trials in the UK are underway to prove this to be the case. I would now like to welcome the team from Coventry City Council Highways. It is important that we hear the views from local authorities on their use of rubber modified asphalt and I'm delighted to introduce Councillor Tricia Heatherton, Neil Cowper, Head of Highways and Rob Little, Senior Engineer of Coventry City Council. I posed a few questions that they were able to answer on a road location where rubber modified asphalt had been laid. Hello, I'm Councillor Patricia Heatherton, Cabinet Member for City Services. Um, we're here in Chester Street. We are going to be looking at the road surface. It's just been done. 
um, because we are concerned about the environment and the effects of global warming in the wider world. So we seek to reduce our carbon footprint across all our services. We're here in particular where tyres have been used in Chester Street and that means that they're not going off to landfill and it makes an absolute difference in terms of you know, the, the um, surface that is very safe and, and very sustainable. So I'm going to hand over to Neil Cowper from Highways who will talk a bit, in a bit more detail about what we are doing here. Thank you. Hi, I'm Neil Cowper, Head of Highways at Coventry City Council. I'm here at Chester Street today um, and would just like to say a few words in terms of our approach to uh, providing greener roads in the city. Uh, we're always keen at Coventry to um, look at ways of meeting uh, our sustainable targets within the city and when we got the chance to use the uh, rubber asphalt uh, we jumped at that chance. Uh, what that does is uses uh, waste tyres which can stack up around the world uh, and uh, that gets melted down mixed in with the asphalt uh, and we've laid it in this road here at uh, Chester Street today. So over the last few years we've used uh, quite an, uh, a lot of the recycled uh, tyres in our roads and the reasons we've done this is that we, uh, we're very confident about the durability of the material and it actually stands up uh, as well if not better than the standard materials that we often use around the city. The material has uh, recently received national accreditation uh, which gives us more confidence uh, and we're happy to use it and in the future uh, to the benefit of all the residents in the city uh, and as I've said helping to meet our sustainability targets. Uh, absolutely not at all. We're very keen in Coventry, both officers and senior elected members, to be at the forefront of innovation uh, in Coventry. So materials such as this modified rubber asphalt that we've got here at Chester Street uh, are just part of a wider suite of sustainable uh, materials and innovations in Coventry. Uh, in other areas there is an awful lot of work going on in transportation around provision of uh, uh, electric buses and uh, electric tools or even uh, bringing in an electric uh, gully tanker within the highways service so yes it's just just part of uh, the way we want to go in Coventry. Uh, I'm Rob Little from the Senior Engineer for Coventry City Council and um, this is one of many roads that we've laid rubber modified asphalt in uh, over the last few years and it's still in the early life of, um, of being laid, only being laid in March this year um, but we have had a number of roads now over the last couple of years and they're all performing as we would expect them to um, in this early part of their life cycle and hopefully in the future they will outperform the traditional uh, uh, method of, uh, of laying roads um, of this kind. Tarmac provide a range of rubber modified SMA surface course mixes. One kilometre carriageway of road incorporates the rubber that grew into 500 tyres dependent upon width and depth laid. As I mentioned earlier, rubber modified asphalt is manufactured with Tarmac's wall mix, te wall mix technology, Ultilone. The asphalt provides an 8% carbon reduction compared to standard SMA mixes. The asphalt application is for local authority highways network and off highway schemes where a standard asphalt, SMA asphalt would be used. In conjunction with Highways England, in 2018, a trial was laid on the M1 junction 23 to 22. This was the first strategic network trial of rubber modified asphalt, Ultipave R. This has been subsequently awarded BBA HAPAS as a thin surfacing system in March of this year. Ultipave R has a higher binder content and rubber content than the SMA version. The M1 trial will provide opportunity for Highways England to monitor and validate North America's experiences of rubber modified asphalt requiring less maintenance interventions. 
The increases in rubber mean that the asphalt incorporates 750 tyres per kilometre uh, and the carbon saving is reduced to 5%. The BBA, BBA enables the asphalt to be used on the strategic road network and where local authorities require a BBA approval for asphalt on their network. We continue to do development work and looking for additional applications for rubber in our materials range. In March of this year, Tarmac completed supply of the largest rubber modified asphalt scheme in the UK for Leicestershire County Council. Early engagement between the client and ourselves enabled discussion to look at more sustainable asphalts. This assisted Leicestershire County Council in building the case for their local highways maintenance challenge fund bid. The scheme started in February this year, completed in March. We supplied 4,800 tonnes of rubber modified asphalt, which incorporated the equivalent of 3,500 tyres. It delivered a saving of 14 tonnes of carbon, uh, which is the equivalent to emissions generated by travelling an estimated 123,000 kilometre road miles. Trevor Pendleton of Leicester County Council a cabinet member for highways and transport said, using recycled carbon friendly components in our road improvements emphasises our commitment to improving the environment. I hope that insight to rubber modified asphalt was informative and I would again like to thank Coventry City Council's team for their contribution to this session. Should you have any questions, please forward them to me. Thank you for your time.